Okay, so let's do another example calculating the energy of a photon as it relates to wavelength. Except this time we're going to put a little twist in it and we're going to calculate the energy for 100 photons with a wavelength of 950 nanometers. Okay, so just to remind ourselves, in order to calculate the energy of a photon, we have this relationship, okay? And so the energy of a photon is related to its frequency, which we'll look at next, and also its wavelength, which is what we're looking at now. And we also need to make sure that we use meters for our units in wavelength. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate the energy for one of these photons first, and then we'll deal with the, other, with the 100 photons. So the energy of our one photon is going to be equal to hc over lambda, okay? And we remember that we have to convert nanometers to meters, Okay, so 950 nanometers. Okay, let's go ahead and convert that. 10 to the 9 nanometers. 1 meter. And we're going to end up with 9.50 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay, so now we have our wavelength in the appropriate units. Okay, so now we're ready to plug everything in. So the energy of our photon is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds. Okay, so Planck's constant. We're going to multiply that by the speed of light. Okay, so that's C. And divide all of that by 9.50 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. Okay? So when we run that math, we are going to end up with 2.09 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay, so now that's the energy for one photon, just one. So that's one photon. Okay, so how do you think we can get the energy for 100 photons? Okay, so if you are thinking that you should multiply that energy of one photon by a hundred, because we have a hundred of them, you would be right, okay? So our energy for our 100 photons of that wavelength is going to be equal to the energy of our photon times a hundred, okay? So if we go ahead and plug that in, 2.09 times 10 to the negative 19 joules times 100, okay? and run the math and we're going to end up with 2.09 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. Okay, So that's the energy of 100 photons with a wavelength of 950 nanometers.